tips are in solving by completing the square with a equals 1. Given x squared plus 14x plus 38 equals 0. We'll notice here that b is 14, which is an even number. So we'll start off by subtracting 38 both sides. Now we're going to complete the square. Normally when we complete the square, we're trying to figure out what is this mysterious number we're adding by, which is this red part. And then we're going to factor it down to a perfect charge trinomial, which is this blue part. Hmm. Well, let's reverse our thinking. Instead of thinking the red, then the blue, let's think the blue first, then the red. So how are we going to think about the blue? What perfect square would this trinomial make? To get this, we're going to half b. And then we're going to figure out what is this mysterious number. We're going to square it. So what do I mean? So here's x squared plus 14x equals negative 38. We're going to take half of b. So half of positive 14 is positive 7. And then we'll square it. 7 squared is 49. Make sure you add it to both sides. Now negative 38 plus 49 is 11. Square both sides, don't forget the plus minus, subtract 7 both sides, so x is equal to negative 7 plus and minus square 11. If you want, you can separate the two solutions. Alright, now, what happens when we have x squared minus 5x plus 2 equals 0? This time we notice b is negative 5, which is an odd number. Well, we'll do the same thing. We'll subtract 2 both sides. Now let's think, what perfect square would this trinomial make? So, half of negative 5, negative 5 over 2. And then, we'll square it. 5 square, 25, 2 square, 4. So, negative 5 quantity square, 25 over 4. Added both sides. Negative 2 plus 25 over 4 is 17 over 4. Square both sides, we have plus or minus, square root of 17 over 2. Add, some, add 5 halves both sides. And then if you want, you can write out the two solutions separately. Okay? Well, do we have to use fractions? No, we can also use decimals as well. So, here's the version with decimals. So, again, subtract 2. Well, what perfect square trinomial would this make? Half of negative 5, negative 2.5. We're going to square it, 6.25. Make sure you add it both sides. Negative 2 plus 6.25, 4.25. Square both sides, and then add 2.5. So x equals 2.5 plus or minus square root of 4.25. I wouldn't simplify square root of 4.25. Thank you.